given is something that is timely and needed. Driven is a capsule shot of the African-American experience in the automobile business. Driven means to me a valuable resource that I can go to. How can we drive this historical document down and around the country? And when you put together a book like this, you have this difficult task of, of culling through the information you get to see what's appropriate and, and, and what's not appropriate to put in. To the extent that you can, you can put your finger right where it's supposed to be, it could be the kind of book that would inspire millions of people. And they're to be congratulated for, for what they are doing and they must understand that they cannot stop. Being involved with the North American International Auto Show and being able to be in the forefront to introduce a publication such as Driven, which is going to really um, put on stage African Americans that have, you know, they've been trailblazers and they've accomplished so much in this industry and you don't hear a lot about the African Americans, you know, in this business. Um, so it, it, it really means a lot to me to, to just be involved with it because it's, it's very sentimental to me and I think it's going to be sentimental to a lot of other African Americans once this publication comes out. I'm liking this, Brother Parrish. Okay. Come over, facing this way. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Yes. And look up. Wonder Bar. We talked about uh, uh, the firm's involvement in okay. the automotive industry and my, my particular involvement, who, who some of our clients are. Some yeah. of them some of the big transactions we've had over the last 10 years. And the firm's largest client is General Motors. We've represented them for many years. Uh, but we also represent um, a number of the major suppliers to the automotive industry. And uh, we represent most of the major minority and women-owned companies that are, that are in the business, uh, including uh, some of the largest that are based here in Detroit and around, around the country. I'm delighted that uh, I was selected, and uh, I think the law firm is pretty pleased about it. So. I think it's important to highlight some of the achievements and the advancements that we've made in the automotive industry or business in general. And without an opportunity like Driven, I think it would, it would go unsaid or certainly unspoken. So all of the hard work that the Trailblazers have done to pave the way for us, um, no one would know that without a, an issue um, or a publication like Driven because no one else is going to take up our cause or no one else is going to take up that charge. So I, I think Driven is right on point and making sure that we're exposed uh, to the community at large. I think it's inspiring. We're ready to roll. What's your proudest moment personally as a UAW member? Proudest moment um, was not, I wasn't a UAW member, but it was a UAW function. Um, back in 1963 when we had the, the uh, a march in Detroit, the uh, uh, Freedom March, mm -hmm. and my, by my dad being involved, I was always a tag along with him. And I seen how the UAW stood up for what was right uh, for blacks all over America. And I seen even when the community and some ministers didn't respond to Martin Luther King, how the UAW did it because it was the right thing to do. And understanding also that it had some internal problems because everybody within the UAW didn't agree with Walter Ruth and what he was doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, even at the, I was 13 years old, but I remember doing papers on it. I did my little research on it because, I mean, that, that's something that kind of really excited me. You cool? One more time for the road. One more. They're filming for uh, that driven.
edition. The purpose of it is to really document the history and I, I think it's really unique because we'll be able to share and, 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 and have some piece of history to give to the next generation. Uh, automotive suppliers and automotive industry leaders and urban enterprises, not only for just minority, but for any urban entrepreneur. As I look at Driven, uh, and especially its focus on the auto industry, uh, you know, part of my journey, uh, part of my journey has been, uh, you know, my father worked on the assembly line uh, at Ford Motor Company, and he did that for about 27 years. So, so your, your, your dad? Mm -hmm. okay. So you, you take uh, someone with an eighth grade education from the south, who's part of that great migration up to the north, and the opportunities were created by the auto industry. Uh, and I spent a couple of my summers in college uh, working on that assembly line as well. So, uh, so to go from that point to where we are today, to become a vice president of, of General Motors, uh, that's, uh, uh, that is a journey. That is a journey, and, and part of it is, is being driven as well. I'm the only African-American assembly plant manager in this division. It's really an honor to be featured in the first time publication of Driven. It's something that I can look back on and reflect what my family and my kids on the accomplishments that I have contributed to the automobile industry. Of all the publications that I've been a part of, this one is driven.